No Mortal Kombat 11. I repeat, no Mortal Kombat 11 reveal at E3. Damn. That is the biggest shocker of E3 to me. Devil May Cry 5. Fucking awesome. It, it looks it looks really fun. Dead or Alive 6 actually is pretty up there. It's you know a huge surprise because no one saw this coming. But having not having another own game be shown off after two years ago they showed off Injustice 2. And based on Netherrealm's history, this was the time to show off a new Mortal Kombat game. And it wasn't shown off, it wasn't revealed, there was nothing about it. It is a huge shocker to not only myself, but every one of you guys watching this video, every content creator, shocked that there's no MK11. So I'm going to be talking about that, I'm going to be talking about um, you know, some, some things that I think could happen. Um, and just just talk about MK11 because based on what we got, which was no reveal, it looks like there's not going to be an MK11 release next year, and that is huge because it breaks the two-year life cycle of NetherRealm games. So NetherRealm has always had this track record since 2011, rebooting Mortal Kombat back into 2D coming out with what a lot of people regard the best Mortal Kombat of all time, MK9, since 2011. Netherrealm has had a two-year release cycle for each other game. 2011, MK9, 2013, Injustice, 2015, MKX, 2017, Injustice 2, and what led everyone to believe that there was going to be a new MK game announced this year and re released next year was pretty much the history of NetherRealm games since 2010 slash 2011. Um, so what led myself to believe that there was going to be a new Mortal Kombat game was just pretty much the history of NetherRealm. And it seems like that is broken today or this E3. It is broken. So I'm going to talk about a couple things. But before I do, I just want to mention, because I've been getting asked if I'm still going to be playing MKX a lot or as much as I can, now that seemingly there's not going to be a new Mortal Kombat game next year, and the answer is yes, I'm still going to be playing this game. I love MKX. Every time that I come back to it, I just feel, it just feels so fun. Because, you know, I played the living hell out of this game for the last two, or from 2015 and 2016, I played the absolute hell out of it, which at the end, I was kind of getting like bored and frustrated with the game. Natural, you do something too much, you know, it just, no matter what it is, you just get tired of it. So having this year of injustice actually like rejuvenated my love for this game, coming back to it, and I still haven't even like came back to it properly. So I'm definitely gonna be uploading a lot of more Mortal Kombat videos in the future so you guys don't have to worry about that um, but now let's talk about these uh, scenarios for Mortal Kombat 11 number one being that it is true and we're not getting any new Mortal Kombat reveals this year at any point and we don't get a new game release next year so if that's the case and NetherRealm did break their two-year cycle for release of their games then that means that they could have an extra year to develop their game to get licensing for you know DLC content like a spawn or something like that um, you know something that maybe could be could, could take a little while longer uh, they could get everything ready for you know just polish up the gameplay as much as they can they could polish up the facial animations um, you know they could polish up what they want to do with gear if they want to have gear in if they want to have variations if they want to have both you know what new ideas they could come up with of course the story they could have an extra year to work on it and i think that's definitely a positive like right now it stings and i'm like man i wish they would have announced this new more combat game but in the long run if it is you know true that nether realm is going to break their two-year release schedule then that means in the long run it's going to be better for all of us because we're gonna have a Mortal Kombat game that's been in development for an extra year 
and it's going to be the most polished Mortal Kombat game to ever be released because they don't have to release it, you know, two years after they released their last game. And the way that it works from Netherrealm based on interviews is that right before the new game is released, they actually start working on the next title. So, for example, when MKX was about to be released, they started working on Injustice 2. Either, you know, concepts or, you know, artists drawing up costumes or just brainstorming ideas. But the point is that they start working on their next game before the current new game is even released. Um, so if they have that extra year, in the long run, it'll be better for Mortal Kombat. But right now it does sting. Um, and the next possibility is pretty much that they didn't feel the game was ready to be shown off at E3. So the way it's worked in the past with Netherrealm games is every time they show off a new game, right? So let's just go back to like MKX, right? They revealed MKX, they showed the first gameplay trailer, etc. in uh, 2014's E3 press conference, a uh, Sony press conference, and then they had the game on the show floor playable, and they had, uh, you know, demonstrations to companies like IGN, GameSpot, uh, you know, Sony, to show off the game. And the only way that the game would be revealed this year and not at E3, which I really doubt, I, I really do, I'm just like giving out a scenario here is that they didn't feel was ready enough to be impressive enough to be shown at e3 um, whether it be gameplay wise they didn't think it was polished enough maybe they were having um you know maybe they weren't ready to really show it off because every time that a new nether realm game is shown off it always wins like best fighting game of the show it's always one of the most impressive games and one of the most talked about games at E3 whenever it's being showcased. So unless they didn't think that it was going to be ready enough and polished enough to actually showcase it at E3, then that that could be one of the reasons why it wasn't there. Um, but then again, even if the gameplay wasn't ready, you know, they could have shown off a reveal trailer. That's easy enough to do. Um, so the fact that there was nothing about it definitely leads me to believe that it's it's more so the first option and the first scenario which is um, that they're gonna break their two-year release schedule so those are like the two scenarios that I see first one is no MK 11 announcement this year so that means that the MK 11 announcement will come next year if if that you know maybe they won't even release another Mortal Kombat game until you know to be determined who knows at this point because once they break their schedule anything could happen um, so that's one scenario no MK next year and the second scenario is that they they keep that 2019 schedule but they reveal Mortal Kombat 11 at some point this year like I know that E3 is just the absolute best place to showcase your game you know, there's so many people watching, gamers all over the world, biggest gaming event in the world every year for, you know, developers and just people, just gamers in general. So, man, it, that's why it's like, if they don't show off their game there, there's no event that they could have <laughs> that could show off a new Mortal Kombat game. Even, you know, their pro leagues, even any any fighting game tournament, nothing would ever come close to the attention that a new Mortal Kombat or, you know, trailers would get with being shown off at E3. So that's why I'm like, yeah, man, I really don't think it's happening. But it could still happen at some point this year. It was just maybe they weren't ready to show off MK11 gameplay. They didn't think it was polished enough. Who knows? Um, but it can still happen where they show it off at some point this year and they maintain their 2019 release schedule that you know has been going on since mk9 of every two years we get a new another one game um one last thing that i want to talk about right one of my first tweets after the sony press conference was over and the deep dark realization came that there was no mk game revealed at this year's e3 was Man, the worst thing about MK11 not being revealed is we have to play Injustice 2 for another X years. It could be two years, it could be one year. 
And it was sort of a joke, but sort of truth, because you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with Injustice 2. I guess it just depends the character or the person that I'm playing against. And, you know, that's gonna make the game fun or not. Um, but love-hate relationship with Injustice 2, I love the game, but sometimes, you know, I'm like, ah, I don't want to play this. But the, the truth of the matter is, like, my tweet was more so talking about the entertainment value slash the variety and the new feel of Injustice 2. Like, what is NetherRealm going to do, if anything, to maintain Injustice 2 fresh? They really can't do anything anymore. They already released the... That was a really bad punish, by the way. I should have gone full combo forward to punish. Come on, super. But they already released the Legendary Edition of Injustice 2, which is the complete edition of their game. They can't release any more DLC. Well, I mean they can, but what sense would it make to put out this complete edition of your game if you're going to release more DLC down the road? You know what I mean? So if they knew that MK11 was not going to be released next year and revealed this year, then I don't. why would they put out a complete edition and just leave the game to die as far as uh, new content. The game is not dead whatsoever as far as uh, tournaments, as far as people actually playing the game. There's still players playing Injustice 2 every day, a lot of players playing every day on each console. But as far as um, new content, the game is dead. Like, there's not gonna be any more DLC characters, so I don't know how Injustice 2 is gonna maintain its, um, or how they're gonna keep it fresh. I mean, balance updates, sure, but I mean, it's, we want new content, you know? That's why I really like the two year life cycle of NetherRealm games because you play their fighting game the first six months, it's in, insanely fresh, you don't need any DLC content. Then the DLC content starts rolling in for the next year that holds the game for like it holds the the amount of like replay value and new feel to the game for in total about a year and a couple of months into it and then after that you're playing the complete game for the next eight months um or 10 months until netherrealm re releases their new game and it's always worked and now that what seems like they they're gonna break that cycle what are they gonna do as far as injustice 2 and keeping it fresh um I don't know, man. It's it's going to be kind of hard to play that game a lot over the next at least year if there's no new Mortal Kombat game in 2019. So that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Let me know your opinions, your thoughts down in the comment section. Um, thank God for Dragon Ball Fighters. I'll just say that. But until next time, I will see you guys later. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. Also, check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.